Okay, it's short part three for you here in terms of uh, ensuring that we don't get two people with the same email address um, registered within the system. So I'm back to uh, the, exactly where we were in the last lesson. I'm going to just make a couple of changes now. Um, as we're going to be doing a little bit of validation, let's do something uh, at the App Connect end as well. That's an email address that's going in there. So let's just make sure that that's validated as an email address. And because we're going to be forcing errors at the end, let's just make sure this is also a required field. Um, email address is required. Okay, so what we need to do now is ensure that we don't have two entries in this of the same email address within the database side. And it's really easy to do with Wapler. There's, uh, it's all built in. It's within the validator. So we add that validator stage. Um, so it's before our insert, but after our connection. And what we're going to do is we're going to validate on the expression. The expression we're going to validate is that username. And that username field holds the email address. Our link field in App Connect is called username. And our validation is that we want this, this email address must not exist in the database. So we click does not exist in the database. Connection one, table blog admin, column username, and we'll just leave the default. This already exists in the database. It's as simple as that. Let's save that. Give it a second or two to upload. Um, let's make sure we've got that saved as well. Okay, let's run that. So I'm just going to drag that on the screen. It's opened up in another screen. Um, so this time, we're trying to duplicate. Um, Brian, you see the validation already here. It's because we're told that there has to be an email address entered in there. It will tell us when we've entered a valid email address. If I can do remember what we called my own website. <laughs> the online. See, that's turned to green. That means it is now a valid email address. Let's give it a password. Hit submit. And what you see now is value already exists in the database. That's exactly the message that we asked it to give us here. So that by adding that validation stage in, we cannot create two users with the same email address. That's all I wanted to cover in this particular item. Um, so we're moving on next to a login.